Hey, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakapadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful leg, noise in this gospel, God lift up the standard of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Saaki Mahaloya coming back with another lesson. This is the part two of the video titled, Will Your Hatred for Esau Cost You the Kingdom? Um, this is the young lady that um, I was referring to earlier in my in transit and several other brothers went into this video as well because our job is to warn a flock and to edify the sheep, okay? And she did it to herself because now brothers are on this like a swarm of bees. It's like a, a bees to a beehive, man. And you know, when we come to edify, that's what we do. We come to edify because we don't want this type of danger of false doctrine to be pushed forth based on confusion being ignorant and just being willf willfully ignorant, should I say, and just complain on rebellious, man. Okay, so this is the young lady here. I don't know her name, don't really care to know it. But the only thing I need to say to you, sis, is you need to just humble down, find you a man in the Lord, and keep quiet. If you repent, and luckily, if you you come back in the right spirit, you may be lucky enough for a brother to actually have mercy and decide to uh, take you unto himself, because we're coming into some very, very dark times, and we ain't got time and this type of rebelliousness and foolishness and this madness that you Israelites are spewing out would not be tolerated okay the scriptures say one Lord one faith one baptism there's only one faith okay and I'm gonna say it boldly the men of the great millstone and the men that teach the doctrine we have that understanding of the Bible and it's about time for brothers to start declaring that boldly okay people say well y'all guys are proud well that's not a proud statement that's a statement of, of being sureful and boasting in Yahweh Shai. Because Paul even said he boasts in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, so can't we not boast in Yahweh Shai? Like Peter said, we have the more sure word of prophecy. So if Peter said that they have a more sure word of prophecy, are we not able to make that statement uh, uh, as, as such? Okay, so this is the young lady here. Um, really don't want to stomach this video because usually when women speak, it's nothing but confusion. And I'm surprised there's not a lot of simps on here committing her. But whatever she got this from, whether she has a Facebook page or some type of social media, somebody's egging her to say this because usually women, they, 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 don't, they, they don't know how to rash it or compartmentalize, so to speak. Okay, so I'm going to play about a minute of the video. She may make the point, but it's not going to go beyond a few minutes. And uh, we're going to get a couple of precepts. I got one precept that would dead this whole argument, man. And uh, we can leave it at that. So here we go. Shalom everybody. So this hopefully is not going to be a too long of a video because I do have to go to work but this has been on my heart for the past two weeks. Uh, okay you heard what she said go to work right go to work now I guarantee you she go to work she don't give her boss shit she ain't gonna give her man she ain't gonna give her boss you know problems of hell because according to her we ain't supposed to hate Esau so therefore we could be justified on taking his bullshit. No, that ain't what the scriptures teach. And we understand we do have jobs. We do have things we're supposed to do. And you're supposed to be peaceable among all men if possible. But shit, even among your enemies, man, you know, you have a right to, to hate them and not like them. But that doesn't mean you're going to go and, and split them in half, okay? That doesn't mean that. It's a time and place for everything, okay? When the Lord raises us up to do what we have to do, then the spirit will prevail. But for now... There's nothing wrong but having a, a silent, strong dislike or hatred for our enemies. That's why the scriptures say we have enemies, man. Okay, and if you know that the children of Israel, we were enemies into all other 17 nations because there are 18 biblical nations, us being one of those nations, okay? And out of the 18, 17 hates us, man. Okay, so therefore we have enemies. Okay, so you can go back to the Christian church with that nonsense. Okay, because this is what they teach to love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Enemies as they do. No, that's talking about your fellow Israelites, man. I ain't talking about no damn heathens. But anyway, here we go. If you do something, you don't do it, you know. I like you know. Um, so I know that I'm gonna ruffle some feathers, and honestly, I don't care. Um, so, I will say that you better people care. Need, you need to read your Bible. Like, don't listen to me. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to whoever. Read your Bible before you make a decision on an organization or a group, a camp, anything that you want to identify yourself with. And I'm going to stop you right there, too. You said at the most high, uh, it was been on your spirit. Well, I'm going to got a precept for you real quick. 
because clearly you're not working with the spirit of the Lord. Okay, uh, try the spirits. Okay, this is this is the book of uh, First John four and one. It says, "Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the Most High." Okay, it says because many false prophets are gone out into the world. You see, so we supposed to try the spirit by the spirit. Clearly, you didn't try the spirit. Okay, because it says here. Uh, hereby you know that the spirit is of the most high every spirit that confesses that Yahweh shy is coming to flesh is of the most high okay but it says here many false prophets but believe not every spirit and the spirit you came in is a lying spirit okay you didn't come in the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh shy because he wouldn't have put this revelation on you because that's not biblical usually when women have visions and stuff like that or dreams they tell it to their men and then they men decipher it through the Holy Spirit they don't go on video blurting out what the hell they saw, what the Most High told them. Because the Most High ain't told you no shit like this. That we ain't supposed to hate the fucking white man. Are you out your goddamn mind? Especially when the Most High is getting ready to level this place called America. You out your damn mind if you think the Lord told you that. Now, I can tell you what spirit did tell you that. And that spirit was spiritual demon Satan. Coming in a spirit of, in a, in a, in a, as a millions of these other women and these other simp begging, pussy begging Israelite men. That bow down to women like you because you got a plethora of niggas out there that call themselves Israelites. They'll literally worship this goddamn woman all because she looks like because she's cute. Okay? And honestly, the eyeshadow, the scriptures tell you that you know a woman by the haughtiness of her eyelids. Okay, you shouldn't be wearing no damn eyeshadow. That's the attire of a harlot. Okay? And a lot of you women, man, you swerping down, you modest as hell, but she probably got more bodies on her than a damn graveyard. Okay, and I'm not saying that she does. But a lot of times to be women like this, they be the biggest goddamn hypocrites. Talking all that madness, talking that nonsense. But see, she got a bunch of niggas and a bunch of Jezebel that would justify this behavior. And that's the reason why, hey, when the Most High raised up the true men of the Lord, a lot of you dudes going to be found out and you're going to have a price to pay, man. All right? And I'm going to leave it at that. Because once you, be, once you start reading the Bible, you will... Mm -hmm see a lot of a lot of differences I'm just going to say that um, but yeah I'm going to ruffle some feathers today and um, I'm cool with it because you know, the most high told me to say it and I'm going to say it most high ain't tell you to I say around, shit uh, I, I okay the most high ain't tell you to say shit let's get another precept you're going off matter of fact I ain't, it, shit man matter of fact the comment board cuts you uh, I'm going to just read it here uh this is the matter of fact the brother posted here what is it first uh, corinthians the 14th chapter i just saw it whatever man i was posted because the lord is not the altar of confusion first of all so the lord didn't tell you to say shit so that's a damn lie all right so this is the book of uh first four, first corinthians 14 and i'm gonna start at verses uh 33 it says for the most high is not the altar of confusion you're spewing confusion sis Okay, you're spewing blast. That's confusion. The Lord ain't tell you to open your mouth and speak. And the scriptures cut that. It says, "But of peace, as in all the churches of saints, let your women keep silence in the churches." Okay, the churches is the camps. Churches means to call out. Okay, but goes into a, 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 a I think it's not a lectos, but it goes into a, ecclesiastes, which means to call out. Okay, I may have pronounced it wrong, but ecclesia, which means to call out. Okay, that's what the church is. It says, women keep silent in the churches for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience. That's the commandment. That's the law. Okay. You are commanded to be under obedience. Also says the law. Okay. So that's, that's in the law. So you ain't supposed to be talking even if you felt like you did have a revelation. You need to have permission to bring it out. And that's the reason, that's the problem with a lot of you women in, in America. You don't, you don't follow order and protocol, man. And that's why a lot of you hate camps. Because in the camp, there's order. And the most of you jakes that ain't in the camp, okay, that's on these platforms talking and spewing your madness, you are disorderly, man. Okay? You are very disorderly. You know, and you don't walk according to the faith and to the spirit. That's why a lot of you bash camps, because you know you ain't going to go in there and do what the hell you want to do. But when you're on your own, you're sitting behind a computer or a desktop in a dark room, and you can talk all the madness, you can do what you want to do, you can smoke weed, commit adultery. Because there's nobody there to call you out. That's the reason why you don't like the camps. It ain't because all oh, the camps are wicked. Y'all don't know, man. 
Okay, unless you've dealt with some wicked camps. But even then, it's order. And it says, if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. For it is a shame for a woman to speak at a church, man. Okay? And that's the point. It's a shame for you to speak. Okay? Keep silence. And this is a big one that you women do not take heed to. All right. And this goes for you women, too. That ain't in the damn. And that ain't in the truth. All you women are supposed to follow this because all our women and men are supposed to be Israelite. You're supposed to know who you are. And I just wanted to make that point. Identify as a Hebrew Israelite, but it makes it very difficult to do that when I'm associated with hate. Wow. And a lot of camps. And I, I, this is specifically for camps. Like, I, I'm just going to say, it's specifically for camps. A lot of camps will tell you, oh, we're, we're not a hate group. But we hate Esau. Death to Esau. Like, on the street corners, yelling at people, spewing hate. Like, the only hatred in this book is from when someone goes against the Most High. He doesn't tell us to hate anybody. The tip you are your goddamn mind. See, this is the reason why you women are supposed to shut up. Keep your mouth shut. Okay? Because you just spewed a bunch of madness. Okay? Talking about hate Esau. Just because you love Esau, that don't gives us the green light to love him. That's because you do everything your, your slave master tell you to do. And this is the reason why we tell you that you got to stay away from the black woman. Okay? Because when it comes to you and a white man, she's going to choose him every time. Whether it's in deed, action, or mindset, she can come to you pro-black as hell. Oh, I don't like so-called, hey, look, when he give her that rite of passage, she's going to take it. All right? And you jakes, you ought to know this by now. Because clearly what she said was not biblical, nor was the scripture. Okay? So when we took over the land of the Philistines, and when we took them down, was that not an act of hate and violence? When you say slay utterly, man, and take their women as, as possessions and spoils and slay everybody else, take their possessions. Was that not an act of hate? Was that an act of love? Because, see, you people, you have the emotional sentiment of hate just being this brought out grotesque thing. But the Lord hates. OK, hate is a common emotion, which hate just means a strong dislike. But for you coming against the brothers, that's a form of hate. I thought the scripture say love thy neighbor as thyself. And by you doing this video. You're violating a commandment that can clearly get you put to death. So which violation are you in compared to us? Because we're speaking against our enemies. You're speaking against us. <laughs> That's why the scriptures say you err not knowing the scriptures, man. All right. So this is the book of Psalms 139. And this is going to dead that whole argument, man. Uh, this is Psalms 139. And I'm going to start at verses... Uh, 19. Matter of fact, let's start at 17. It says, How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O power. How great is the sum of them, okay? David is going into the thoughts that the Most High put into his mindset, man. Because, hey, it says, Be follows of me as I am Yahweh Shai, man. We come out of the order of Yahweh Shai. Okay? We are armed in the same mind, same body, same spirit. That's 1 Corinthians uh, 10, the 10th chapter, okay? Going about us being armed with the same mind, okay? Uh, 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 you're after the, like the King David said He was a man after the Most High's own heart So we are to partake In the, the footsteps of King David And our ancient forefathers that loved the Lord And his hatred for the Edomites And the other nations Aren't we supposed to adopt the same mindset Because hey honestly speaking I hate who my father hate man Especially if they're wicked sons of God I hate them That's righteous you know It ain't like it's of our own religion No this is what the Most High said be ye followers of me as I am of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says here, I, if I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I wait, I am still with thee. Okay? Meditate. Meditate on these scriptures, man. It says, Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O power. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. Okay? He referred to this man as a bloody man. Okay? A bloody man. Why did Esau hate David? I mean, why did David hate Esau? Because Esau was the wicked. Okay, and David knew, according to the prophecy, if I didn't end these Edomites, they was going to do something harsh to my people. See, David wanted to kind of upset that prophecy, but it wasn't in the Lord's uh, will. That's why a remnant of those Edomites escaped, man. Okay, and they went into fleeing. Even though we had them as, cap as slaves and captives, hey, David couldn't pull a full end to the nation of Edom because they were meant to rule in a lot of time. Okay, but if David had his way, we wouldn't have no crackers right now. And, and <laughs> rightfully so. 
but it was all for prophecy's sake. Okay, and it says, for they speak against thee wickedly. Okay, hear this. And thy enemies take thy name in vain. Okay, you go to these churches, these Edomite churches, like they say, in that BS court system, and God we trust. The devils don't trust in the most high, man. Okay, because these are the same devils that are tell you to swear on the Bible, but yet they got Jake in there for child support. They got Jake in there for taking uh, 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 the law into his own hands for disciplining this woman for committing adultery. But yet, these same devils say in God we trust, but they don't uphold the laws of the Bible. That's an act of hate. Okay, which hate just means strong dislike. So you crazy as hell, because who the hell you think the Most High is going to use to get his damn, get these Edomites? Okay, it says here, do I not hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And Esau hates Shehawah Bashim and Yahweh Shai. Look at America. Look at you for crying out loud. He's totally flipped your mind against your own brothers and sisters, man. Your own heavenly father. Totally flipped you, man. Flipped the deck with you. Okay? Got you out here behaving like a, a Babylonian woman, speaking out of term. That's the hatred towards the most high. Had, do Esau not have to pay for that? Okay? Look at the whole concept of the, of the alphabet community. You know, the alphabet people. What about the transmissions? And you know what I mean by that? What about the P-R-I-D-E flag? Okay? What about how women are over men in the society? And these are just a few things that the Most High has all with Esau. But if Esau didn't hate the Most High, he would have came up with these uh, adversities, so to speak. Okay? It says here, do I not hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? Am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? <laughs> he says, I hate them with perfect hatred. I count on my enemies, which shows you you're supposed to hate your goddamn enemies, man. Because if you love the motherfucker, then he ain't your enemy then. I never heard a person, I love him, but he's an enemy of mine. Fuck, that's bullshit. That's that Martin Luther King spirit, and he knew that was bullshit. Because, hey, they had to calm him down. Because, honestly, before, uh, his name was Michael King, before he was even pretty much set up fully as a civil rights activist, he was a radical ass dude. He was kind of in that spirit with Malcolm X, man. But they had to tone him down because he was set up. But nonetheless, man, that's that fucking Civil War spirit that got our eyes water hose. And look, this is the result of it today. Momos, feminism, broken homes, okay, out of order women, men acting like simps. This is the result of it. And I just scratching the surface. It says here, I hate them with perfect hatred. But search me, O power, and know my heart. And try me and know my thoughts. He said, search me, man. Okay? I hate these people, but search me and find if I have a wicked bone in my body for what I for how I feel about these heathens, man. Because David wanted to make an end of these damn devils, man. And rightfully so, because he knew. Okay? David understood the prophecy. He was a prophet of the Lord. David knew. Okay? And it says, and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way of the everlasting. So break that down. This shit right, this, this slock you, not shit, but this scripture here fillets everything you talking about, young woman, in that video, okay? So you need to repent, and you need to repent ASAP, and you need to stop following whoever you following, okay? And get on your knees and pray to the Most High that he send you a man of understanding, and that you can repent and learn the truth, man, and come under his tutelage so you can be delivered. If not, you're just going to be destroyed, okay? You're just going to be destroyed like the rest of these other people, man, because I'm going to tell you like this. More women like you than not are going to be destroyed. No man is going to come to your defense in that day. Especially when the men of the Lord get spiritual power. We're going to be able to read your spirit in your mind. And we're going to know you've been playing games. So you ain't going to fool the most high. Okay? You can fool men. Okay? You can try to put on that baby voice, whatever. But you can't fool your Yahweh Shimi Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Uh, one more precept, man, and I'm going to end it. This is going to seal the deal. Uh, Ezekiel 25. Torah. This is one of my favorite scriptures. It says here. Uh, thus says the Lord Yahweh, because Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon him. Therefore, thus says the Lord Yahweh, I will stretch out my hand upon Edom, okay, which is the so-called white man, and will cut off men and beasts from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of the dead shall fall by my sword. So how you think he's going to do that? How you think he's going to do that? Because sure, yeah, the Most High can, can set up a storm, he can send the cherries, Lord can destroy him with a thought. But see, the Lord, he gets very, very graphic with this thing, man. He wants his men to get payback. Because ain't no, ain't nothing like, like they say sometimes revenge is, is better than pussy, man. Tupac said that. Some, hey, look, man. They were so pissed off at Paul 
to the point they went on a fast not to eat until they killed them, man. That's some straight, straight up savagery right there. Okay, like you got men that's heavy in the world. They won't go for seeing they women for two, three months because they scoping some niggas house waiting to put them down. The act of revenge. Revenge feels good, man, when it's done in the right cause. That's why Esau don't promote it. That's why he don't allow uh, Jake to get revenge because according to the scriptures, you are able to get revenge for a righteous cause. If somebody put or harm your family, all right, or put somebody to pasture of your flock, then you have a right to do it back to them according to the law. But see, Esau doesn't execute that. That's why the scriptures say, vengeance is mine. It is written, vengeance is mine. Thus says the Lord. Okay, but guess what? He's going to use us to get vengeance because it says here, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom uh, by the hand of my people Israel and they should do an Edom according to my anger and according to my fury and they should know my vengeance says the Lord so there we go man so the Lord is going to put his anger on us which is total indignation which is a righteous anger a righteous hatred so you have to be careful or the spirit you coming in man okay and I'm going to end it there giving all praises and glory and honor that is due to you how about you have a shy and with that shalom and a ball, 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 and I, I and I, I recommend you to read these comments on the, your comment board uh, uh, as these brothers and I believe a few sisters on there for bringing out precepts to get you to repent and see the error of your ways. If not, you're just going to be destroyed. And with that, Shalom and a ball, ball, ball.